Okay, let's determine the measure of each angle of this triangle. So we have this angle, this angle, and this angle. Obviously, triangles have three angles. And uh, this angle here specifically is x degrees. This is x degrees, and this is 4x degrees. And what we want to do here is determine the actual angles uh, of this particular triangle. Okay, so this is a kind of a classic type of geometry problem. You definitely need to know how to do problems like this. And uh, we're dealing with a triangle here, but this can be any kind of uh, polygon type of shape, like a rectangle or uh, other type of shapes. But this is, again, a kind of classic geometry problem. You'll see this come up um, you know, on different type of tests. Certainly, if you're taking geometry, you got to know how to do a problem like this. But if you're taking a test like, let's say, the GED or the SAT, this is, you know, um, a typical type of problem that you might encounter. And it involves our two favorite subjects, that is geometry and algebra. You're like, what, algebra? Yes, yeah, I know you love algebra. I love algebra. Everyone should love algebra. But if you didn't know, we have to use algebra in geometry. Okay, so that's why typically, okay, uh, most students have to complete algebra one before they get into geometry. Okay, so uh, a lot of geometry problems will require your algebra skills. Again, math builds upon itself, but don't worry. I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. It's uh, pretty easy, but I'll walk through the steps here uh, shortly. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, that's a bold statement, and I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100-plus different uh, math courses. I have all the big courses like Geometry, Algebra 2, Algebra 1, Pre-Algebra, College Algebra. I'm going to be launching my Pre-Calculus uh, course here soon. And all my uh, courses are uh, extremely comprehensive. I don't give you little quick tutorials. That's why it's taken me years and years to build out all my courses. So... If you really, really want to learn math, you need a lot of instruction. My, that's what my, what I pride myself on all my courses. Now, I have a lot of specialty courses, especially for test preparation. So, for those of you who are studying, like for the GED, SAT, ACT, maybe a teacher certification exam, uh, maybe the Accuplacer, Alex exam. Uh, there's a ton of different uh, reasons why people study math outside of a math course because a lot of these tests like a nursing entrance exam there's math on it you have to pass these tests to reach your goals so i understand that i have a lot of uh, very specific custom built math test prep courses so you can check out my full catalog on my website and if i don't have the uh, test preparation that you're interested in or a program you're interested in, just drop me a line and I'll give you my best advice and maybe even consider making that course in the future. I also help a lot uh, of independent learners like homeschoolers. So I have an actual homeschool uh, system. Uh, so if that is something that you're interested in, you can check out my homeschool program on my site. And then obviously I help a ton of students that are having a difficult time in their current math class, whether that be geometry, algebra two, college algebra, you know, you're just, things aren't working out right. Well, you can check out my program and, you know, get the instruction that you, that you need. Now, if you like my teaching style, then you're going to love my courses. Now, one thing you need to be doing to really, really help yourself out is to be taking great math notes. I call this my golden rule of math, something I kind of developed over decades of teaching the subject, and that is this. Those students who have the best math notes almost always look like this at the end of the year. They're super happy with their grades, okay? And the reverse is true. Those students who don't take math notes, take sloppy math notes, they look like this when they see their grade, you know, and, you know, sometimes they're like, you know, like this and there's tears. Listen, I can tell you no math teacher enjoys giving bad grades. That's not something that we like to do. And, you know, uh, students generally aren't going to be surprised when their grade comes, right? Because, you know, you kind of know as a student whether you're putting in the work and effort. But oftentimes, a lot of students don't understand the importance of taking notes. You cannot minimize this. This is a daily activity, and you get to really work hard on taking great notes. Okay, so if your notes aren't quite where they need to be, start working on that. But in the meantime, you need something to study from. So I offer excellent detailed comprehensive math notes. Those would include pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Trigonometry. Find links to those notes in the description of this video. 
All right, so let's get into this problem here. So we're obviously dealing with a uh, triangle, and let's just kind of sketch out a triangle here. So what do we know about triangles? Well, in this particular problem, okay, and this is in any triangle, there's one main uh, fact about triangles that you need to understand, and that is the sum of the angles of any triangle. You take this angle plus this angle plus this, plus this angle, is going, to, is going to always add up to what? Well, if you sit 180 degrees, that is fantastic. Give yourself a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a uh, one star, okay? Not too many stars yet because we need to be able to solve this problem, but it's 180 degrees. The sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, and you need to know like these other shapes, like let's say a uh, rectangle, okay, or a quadrilateral, how many degrees um, are in a rectangle, okay, or a square. Now, you know, I'll go ahead and give you a, a couple seconds to think about that. But if you said 360 degrees, well, that's fantastic. Give yourself another star, right? So these are some of the things, basic principles about uh, polygons and geometry that you need to know. Obviously, we're going to focus in on the triangle here, but the techniques that we use to solve this problem could be employed to solve other type of similar problems that are not triangles like a rectangle or quadrilateral, etc. All right, now let's get into the actual solution. So knowing that the sum of the angles of, of a triangle is 180 degrees, well, we have the angles here, okay? But they're obviously variables, but that's okay. We can add them up. So we have X and X and 4X, so we got an X, plus an X, plus a 4X, all these angles here are going to add up to 180 degrees. Now, I kind of dropped the little degree notation because uh, there's no need to kind of compl complicate our life here. But at this point, uh, what you need to be able to do is solve a basic algebra equation. Okay, now if you can't solve this equation, then you definitely need to increase your algebra skills. And uh, a couple of different ways you can go about that. One, I have hundreds of videos in my algebra playlist and pre-algebra playlist on uh, solving equations, etc. Uh, but look back at your notes, hopefully if you took notes, right? And if you're really, really struggling with algebra or geometry, I would definitely encourage you to check out my uh, geometry uh, course or my algebra course, okay? But let's get to this. We have x plus x plus 4x equals 180. So we have to combine like terms. So x and an x and 4x is a total of 6x. So 6x is equal to 180. And to solve for x, I need to divide both sides of the equation by 6. So 180 divided by 6 is x is equal to 30. Okay, but what, what does that represent? Well, that means this angle is 30 degrees. This angle here, because this is x as well, is 30 degrees, and this one is 4x. So this is 4 times 30, which if uh, my arithmetic is good today, or you know, if I'm like feeling like confident enough to answer this without the aid of a calculator, 4 times 30, I believe, is 120 degrees. So let's just check this here. 120 plus 30 and 30 is 60. 60 and 120 is at 180 degrees. In fact, it is. So if you were able to get this problem right, then let's go back up to our smiley face. Definitely give yourself a few more stars. And you got to be careful here because you just might so impress your teacher that your teacher might say, wow, you know, I'm going to throw you into the advanced class or I'm going to give you, you know, uh, more you know, extra work. All right. No, I'm just kidding. All right. You want to do well. Um, and one thing about practicing mathematics, whether it's your homework or doing this, uh, you know, watching this video is the way you practice, okay, and that would include writing your notes, you're really kind of creating math habits, all right? So if you're going to do any kind of math work, take on a problem, do it right or don't even do it at all. It's better not to even do something. Uh, if you're going to do it poorly, then you're creating poor habits. I'd rather you not, you know, me personally, I would say, listen, if you're not focused or in a state of mind to do math, then don't, don't do it, you know, find another time. But just don't do math in a sloppy way or study in a sloppy way because you'll end up looking like this poor person at the end of the year and nobody wants to see that. Okay, so 
If this video helped you out in some uh, manner, please consider smashing that like button. That certainly helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please uh, consider subscribing. Been on YouTube for a long time. It's a perfect platform for someone like myself who's obsessed. I'm totally obsessed with teaching math in a clear and understandable way. Um, you know, there's nothing uh, that I, I hate to see is, is students who have this anxiety about learning math or hate the subject. There's no need to hate the subject. Like even this person, we can, I can help this person have a big smiley face, but it's a process. Okay. So if you're struggling with math, you know, let's be honest here. It's going to take a commitment, but you got to find a teacher that you like and understand. And if I can be that teacher, then I, you know, that's what excites me each day. All right. So uh, one last reminder, on my channel, I have hundreds and hundreds of videos organized in various playlists, uh, basic to advanced math, but my best work will always be in my uh, program. So you can find, again, the links to my programs in the description of this video. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.